Hey guys, it occurred to me yesterday that I only ever so briefly touched on the interface and how to use Oval Blocker software, so I'm just going to go over that with you super quick. Um, to, to get into your interface, once you've got it installed and you've clicked on the little X to hide it, you're going to click, you're going to hold down Alt, Shift, and F1 at the same time. Seriously doubt anybody's ever going to find this unless they're looking for it, okay? Then I want you to type in your password. If you haven't changed it yet, it's going to be 888. Click setting, and we're in. All right, first thing, filter setting. This is what I kind of briefly went over. This is your built-in content filtering engine right here. Something new that I don't like that they have just added to this 3.1 is the inability to remove words from the built-in filtering engine. You used to be able to do that, so if you want that option, maybe you should go ahead and find a 3.0. <laughs> um, you can, however, delete words that you put on there yourself. I don't want to. I don't want to delete that, so I'm just going to put it back on there. Okay. Um, blacklist, whitelist. These buttons control this side, and these buttons control this side. And then you always want to make sure that you save your work, okay? Um, this is new here, strict and regular. I have yet to see what the difference is because I just downloaded this update yesterday, but I put it on regular for now <clears throat> because I don't want my perv not being able to get to his regular sites due to you know, some word in here setting something off on eBay or, you know, whatever it may be. So I put it there because I have two other layers of protection right now and I'm not really too worried about it. <coughs> okay, next we have block applications. This is new in 3.1. Uh, they have put in here you can block individual browsers as well as ICQ, which is a chat program, and Skype, which, um, I don't know why they blocked this. This, but this is uh, this is also a form of communication um, over the internet. So um, there's that. I, I don't really have a, an interest in that at all. But there it is. <coughs> this is also a new feature. This one I like. My perv has just recently, the other day, for the first time, deleted his browsing history, and I know that because. Well, I'm smarter than he is. But, um, wow, look at it. They have added this in here. So, guess what? <laughs> Even if he deletes his browsing history, I'm not quite sure why this keeps popping up. Even if he deletes his browsing history, here it is for you. That's awesome. Now you know what to block. <laughs> Password setting, this is where you go to change your password. And as you can see, it doesn't require you to retype your new password twice to make sure that you didn't uh, accidentally hit the wrong key. So please make sure that, uh, that you're typing very carefully. <coughs> Exit, we never want to use this button unless, you know, we're on here trying to uh, find a site or block a site or do something and our program's not letting us do it, do it because when you hit exit and you say yes that completely shuts the application down so it is no longer working for you so if you want to leave the interface leave through here okay about this is where we uninstall the program and as I said before there are some registry cleaners and various programs out there that your perv will probably start to download for free and try and figure out why he's having problems. Um, inadvertently some of them may mess up your oboe blocker so come on over here to uninstall. Um, go in then also to where we installed this program and then manually, I think that you have to actually go in and delete um, one or both of these files. Uh, also, you may have a problem where you click uninstall and it says that a file is missing, you know, and that's the whole problem. Um, and it says go in and manually uninstall it. So that's what we would do. We would come over here, right click, delete, 
same thing with this one okay and then reinstall it and it works just fine <clears throat> okay um what i did want to show you a lot of your pervs are smart um i know you may be worried about this too so i'm going to show you if you come over here to control panel and install a program okay this shows all of your programs here and in case any of you were worried that that would show up here it does not it is made to be a stealthy program it does not show up in this list okay the other thing I want to show you is when you hit control alt delete okay and you bring up your start task manager under applications it does not show okay so if your perv gets to thinking oh my goodness oh my goodness you know I think she's running a porn blocker on me he's gonna come right here and this is what he's gonna see are the programs he's running it is not show the only time it shows is if you go ahead and actually do the um, alt shift F1 okay there it is but that's because you are actually using the interface right now okay as soon as you uh, get rid of that, it's not here. All right. Also under processes, it does show right here, 1.0.3.exe. Okay. Um, seriously, I really don't think anybody's going to look twice at that, and most people do not. Um, they don't have the technical ability to come in, you know, to think to come in here and, you know pick something out so not to worry about any of that okay uh, till next time block that porn